truth and lie. To a price or I lost my place. In the line to the house of shake. Where I was hoping to find. Hey everyone, my name is Sophie from Sophisticated Organization. Welcome back to another Sophisticated Saturday where I'm getting very, very pregnant. We probably only have a few more of these, maybe one more of these before I have a baby. So I'm trying to get a lot done around the house as I usually do, but a little bit extra because I'm really feeling like I'm in that nesting mode. The first thing I am doing today is starting in my kitchen. I am going to clean it up a little bit. I have some cooking I wanna to do today, but I wanted to wipe down things first, get the countertops clean before I got started. There were a couple straggler items that I needed to get put away from the dishwasher that I had sitting on the countertop because I run the dishwasher at night and I also needed to clean off the table from earlier in the day from breakfast and just quickly wipe it down. We had a nice little brunch today and there were just still some crumbs left over. You always know how to get me sentimental. You Next up is laundry time. I'm really trying to stay on top of laundry, so I feel like my schedule is thrown off a little bit just because I get worried that if I go into labor and haven't done laundry in about a week, I'm gonna be coming home to a huge pile of laundry. So I'm just, like I said, trying to stay on top of it as much as possible. So sometimes the loads are a little bit smaller than usual. This is our light load. Jim usually has more light clothing than I do. And if you can tell, it's mostly white t-shirts. That's what he wears around the house a lot. I'm laying those out so they don't get wrinkly for him and he will do the folding. And then I honestly just have a few items for myself that were in this load, a sweatshirt, some socks, bras, and that's about it. So I'm going to fold those and then bring them back into our bedroom and put them into the dresser. in my own bed there ain't no words when you're sleeping with shame all out and you're still wide awake there ain't no prayer when you're sleeping on nails when words fail you and all that you can do is look away yeah and the image in my mind is burning each other down it's pain if you could only say We've had on and off nicer weather and some chillier weather, and right now it's just a little bit chillier, so I was feeling making a soup, just kind of craving it. I saw this recipe for a fish and clam chowder, and have never made a clam chowder before, and thought it sounded kind of good. Let me say, I really, really enjoyed this recipe. I looked forward to eating a lot of the leftovers. I thought I might be able to freeze some for later, but ate it all <laughs> with Jim's help, of course. So I will try and find the recipe to link it in the description below but the base started with some fennel and onions that I am just getting chopped up right now I have been using my veggie chopper a lot but because it was such a small amount of fennel and chopped onions I decided not to dirty it and also got my garlic through the garlic press and then put all of that in the pot to start it cooking And baby, I'm sorry 
I added a little bit of flour in there to make a roux and the liquid is going to be some white wine as well as the clam juice from your clam containers and then a box of fish stock. Also in the pot, besides having the chopped clams and fish, which I'm gonna add at the very end, you're gonna add some Yukon Gold potatoes. So I got those washed and peeled and chopped up, added a few sprigs of thyme, and then covered it to cook while I popped into the living room to do some toy cleanup, as I usually have to do. And today, not only was I just picking things up, but I was grabbing a few things and moving them down to the basement. The basement is where we have a lot of bulkier toys, toys that he isn't using as much. I just kind of shuffle them down to the basement and use upstairs as our little toy rotation area so he's not overwhelmed by the amount of toys that he has up here. And plus, it's my living room. It is out in the open for all of us to see every day, so I don't want too many toys in here. And if you can see, we got Owen a Dyson. We got that for him for his birthday. I don't know how it happened, but he is cleaning obsessed. I'm just kidding. He obviously sees me cleaning and kids at this age love to emulate what their parents are doing. So now instead of grabbing onto my vacuum as I'm vacuuming, he has his own little vacuum so he can vacuum side by side with me just like he does when I sweep. He has his own little broom, so he is really enjoying his new Dyson. The other liquid I forgot to mention is that there is milk and cream in here. I did milk just to make it not quite so heavy, added in those chopped clams and the fish, gave it a stir, covered it up so it could continue to cook, and then ran upstairs to fold more laundry. This time we're doing Owen's laundry, same thing. I wanna stay on top of it as much as I can. I also am down a few outfits of his because I have his go bag packed as well. This time around, I have to have a hospital bag packed for me, but I also have to have a bag packed for Owen for when I go into labor so my in-laws can watch him and they need clothing for him and I don't wanna be scrambling at the last minute to pack him a bunch of clothing. So he luckily has enough clothing that I can have a few pulled away, but that does, again, mean I need to stay on top of his laundry as well. There are also a couple of items in this load that I pre-washed. I like to especially wash kids' clothing when I first get it. I found some pajamas on sale for him in his next size, so I had ordered those and just washed those as well. So a couple of these things are going to go in the bottom drawer of his dresser where I keep clothing that is one size up. Why can we just be Hanging his cute little clothing and folding it always makes me so happy because I think it is so cute. And I'm really happy with the way that I have organized his bedroom, his dresser. The organizers work so great for his size of clothing. And the system in the closet has been working really well for us too. Probably the last time that I'm going to give my pregnancy pillow a wash before I'm done with it and gonna wash it and put it in storage again. For those of you watching that have been pregnant or maybe you are pregnant right now, a pregnancy pillow was an absolute must for me. I make a little cocoon. I almost turn it into a complete little circle and use it to wrap my entire body and have been pretty comfortable using it. But I do use it every night. It's nice that it has a cover so I can wash it just like a pillowcase. It's like a rush, the waves that crash inside me and you carved it 
deep into my heart that you're the king of lions the look of blue and kill and smile you put me more than under and still with one touch you got me where you want me we also got some last minute baby items and a couple other packages. We got a second car seat base because a lot of times Jim does the daycare drop off and pick up because I work from home. And our second baby is most likely gonna be doing daycare once I am done with maternity leave. Our first had a nanny come to the house, but since Owen's already in daycare, it kind of makes sense to have them doing the same thing. So Jim's car will need a way to install the infant car seat as well. So I got that unpacked, got some sticky paper for shipping labels for products on my website. And then I am going to take a seat for a bit, work on things in my office. I have this running to-do list of things I'm trying to get done before baby. And some of them are must do's and other ones are kind of silly or things that like I just want to get done because it would be a lot easier before we have two. One of those things is filling out my bump and toddler book. So I have a bump book for my pregnancy right now that I am trying to keep up with. So I am just filling out a summary on the third trimester and any thoughts that I have. There's a spot to write a letter to baby and I kind of like doing that before the baby is born because that's the way that it's supposed to be written and I don't want to cheat the system. I know that sounds so silly, but I wanna keep on top of those books as well as the toddler book. And I spent a little bit more time in my office and then after that, I also wanted to head downstairs. I just talked about cleaning up toys. Owen has gotten more toys over the holidays and with his birthday, he got a new train set. So I am picking up some of those pieces. I got some organizers to stick under the train table that I haven't taken the labels off of because I'm not sure if that's what we're gonna do yet. So for now, I'm just going to clean up the table a little bit, kind of having fun setting up a little city here. I appreciate you hanging out with me today for this sophisticated Saturday. Like I said, there will probably be another one or two while I am still pregnant. And then after that, hopefully I can share that we have a new baby. So until next time, I will see you all later.